welcome back to developers home and today we are discussing about spark etl and with the first chapter which is spark etl with files and today we'll be discussing how we can do extract transform and load with different type of files like csv json parquet orc and text file so if you don't have free text on this one you just go to our earlier blog and you understand that what all different types of etl we're gonna do and what all different kind of data sources we're gonna use for this spark etl so today we're gonna do these are the all operations so we are considering orc json parquet text file for our spark etl operation so what we're gonna do is we'll use csv json parquet and text file read and load into data frame spark data frame will create temp table so that we can do spark sql after that we do some transformation and then load this data into different file format let's say we have loaded data source from json and then target will be parky or target will be orc or different format so we'll do this operations and we'll understand how to read these files from different file format and how to write into different file format first step is you can go to this github repo uh, which is given here and you can clone this chapter zero where you will get all the types of different files and solution everything will be getting it from here today we are taking our uh, data as a tlc trip record data which is open data and here if you go you will get all the years trip record data in parquet format json format csv format you can get it from here and here also you will have this data in a huge volume so if you want to play with data it's a good place to go so now let's start with our uh, practice in spark so go to uh, jupyter lab and where you know that our spark docker container is running and now first thing is we'll start this session so i am just starting my spark session and i think i have already started so now this is running on port number 4040 and here i see that session name is chapter 0 and which is here chapter 0 so this session is running now so first thing is we have this csv file available so we just have a look on csv file so yeah this is our csv file and now we want to read the csv file into spark so what we can do is we have spark read and then format in a format we can pass different formats so here we want to read from csv so we are passing csv after that we can pass that in the csv file we have header and that's why we say that okay header is equal to true and then also infer schema from that csv file and then we say that load it from here so which is nyc taxi zone data i will execute this and we'll have this data loaded into this data frame so this is how you know that easily you can load data using spark read into data frame so once data is loaded we'll do you know that uh, check print schema and then we'll also explore data is that data properly loaded or not so now data is loaded so now next step is just print schema and we'll see that okay this is the exact data which we have in csv next step is just print this same uh, same data so we'll have to know that okay this is the same data loaded into data frame so this is how you know that we can load data into spark data frame from csv second thing is we're gonna load json data into our data frame so now if i go to this json file i will get to know that okay this is the data available in this json but this is not normal json this is multi-line json file right so what i can do is i will use same function but now i will say format is json and in an option i will say that this is multi-line json so now if i go here and i will say that okay just load it from here and for example what i will do is i will remove this so we'll get to know that if we do this what will actually happen so i am not passing as of now and saying that okay this is multi-line json and now if i do this it will say that corrupt record because it's not able to recognize this json so now if you pass here that this is multi-line json so you know that it should be able to understand that okay this is the correct json file so now if i do this and if i execute print schema and this will be understanding that we have data available in this format and which is correct and now if i just go and print this data so i can see that this data is also successfully loaded into spark data frame 
next thing is reading this data from parquet files you cannot view parquet files here this jupyter lab in this you can read json csv but not parquet files and that's why you can download any of the parquet viewer and then you can read this data using that parquet viewer so in this parquet we have around you know that these are the all columns and this is fi this file is more than 25 mb and that's why i could not upload into github so you can go here and here if you go to this one and if you download this one any of the or this one so you will having this parquet data and this file is having around like uh, 2 million records but you see when i execute this one uh, so this loads data very quickly when you have uh, like check when i executed data for csv so it took time but here it's not taking time because parquet format is very efficient with store data into column store and that's why you know that most of the uh, like uh, lake house they prefer or when you create a data lake so most of the people prefer to store data into parquet format because you can also zip those file using snappy and zzip and you know that with store data into column store and that's why it's very efficient when you read data from parquet file compared to csv and json file so yeah we have this data available into our data frame and now if i execute this one i will getting know that okay these are the data available in this data frame and i will just execute this one so i will get to know that okay these are the rows available in this and i see this is having 2.4 million rows in this data frame so this is how you know that we have loaded data from parquet next is loading data from txt so normally people don't store data into uh, txt file format uh, but i am just giving example how you can store this mostly they store data into csv json xml parquet but uh, here if in case you want to load data from text file same thing or read text and then i can do this one so i am just reading this file and then displaying it so it shows that okay we have data available in this one by default it understand that our line separator is less n and that's why you know that we see this as a first line second line but now if you want to specify that my line separator is not less n but it's comma so you can specify that and accordingly it will understand that okay comma is my line separator so it will separate every word by comma and put it in a new line so this how this is how we loaded all the data which is in a spa uh, like parquet json csv and text into data frame now our next step is to create temp table so it's very easy to create temp table data frame dot create or replace temp view and this is how we can create temp table or view in spark so once we have this all the data into data frame next it's easy because we can now write spark sql so once we have data here in uh, this temp table now i go and write this all the queries like select star from select star specific column if you want to use aggregate functions if you do like ascending descending this all things be very easy to do if you want to join these two data frames it's again very easy to do so now this is how we have you know that uh, executed spark sql now next thing is so consider that we have extracted this data from different source we can also do transformation here using pyspark or we can also use spark sql for any kind of transformation and now we want to load this data into destination and you know that we have given options that okay create json file from csv so our source is csv and destination is json so how to do that so we have spark dot read same way we have write function and so what we do is data frame dot write dot format and format will specify that i want json format csv format parquet format orc format avro format and accordingly it will create that file so we have this csv file and now i'm saying that write into json and then specifying that i want to create just json files in this particular format and mode in mode you can say append overwrite and ignore if you see append it will be inserting new data if you do overwrite whatever we have it will just overwrite with the new data ignore it means if there is a data it will just ignore so if i execute this one this will be 
creating a um, json data folder here and that in json data data folder will have this all the data from csv so now we see we have this json data and inside that we have this uh, json file so i'm not sure it will open uh, this way because this is not multi-line json this is single line json so if i will say that open as an editor and now we can see that okay we have this all the data which was there in csv format now converted into json format so this is how you can as a destination you can store into json file now again what i am doing parquet into csv we have two point around uh, four million rows so now this is taking time to convert those parquet data into csv format so yeah let this uh, take time and execute meanwhile what we can do is we, we can see that here there is a csv data folder is created but this will be a big file because we were having 2.4 million rows meanwhile we can go to here on spark ui and from here we see that what is currently executing so currently this is still running and creating csv file if you go inside you will see that okay this is just scanning parquet and then creating csv file it seems like this is executed now so we have this csv file and this csv file is very big and that's why it's taking time to load if in case we want to see what we can do is i can download here and i will get to know that this is 270 mb of file you see and that's why it was taking time so i will not download but now next is i want to create parquet from json so same thing format and here in an option we have compression where it supports nappy so it will compress file so we have parquet file which takes less space compared to other let's say csv the same csv file took 250 mb while the actual 269 mb and actual parquet file is i think around 24 or 25 mb so if i see actual parquet file which is 36 mb and you see same data in csv which is like 260 it's a 10 times so you know parquet compress itself file 10 times and again if you use snappy compression it will again compress that file so you see these are the advantage of using parquet files so now you'll execute and this will create our uh, parquet file folder here we'll have this parquet file folder here and then in that we'll have this parquet files available so if i go here so we have this parquet file available right you see it's just a 6 kb of file i will execute this again it will create one more file because you know that we are saying that do append so it will add one more file here so now we have two files so again same way if you want to create this uh, data into ORC from JSON so I, so I just need to pass format as a ORC if I execute it will create one folder with ORC data and in that will have this file with ORC format so this is how you know that we can do ETLs with spark so here two things we have learned spark.read and dataframe.write and with that we have options available if in case csv we can say that header is true or false if in case of uh, parquet we can say that okay compression is there or not with json we say that okay it's a multi-line json or single line json and this is how we can do spark etl so yeah thanks for watching and in a next video if you go here so we have this path which we are gonna follow in the next video we'll gonna do spark etl field with sql so we have mysql and postgres sql we read data from mysql postgres sql do transform and then again load data so thanks for watching and see you in the next video